Okay, it's Nick Dutch back again. It's very late. It's well past my bedtime. I've had an incredibly long day and I'm incredibly overtired, so you're going to have to forgive me. Expect bad language and adult content, uh, possibly. Or, well, a bad language anyway. Actually, no, there might not even be any of that. I mean, I'm just like, oh, God, what the hell, what the hell. Anyway, I've taken up some of my time this evening to print out more or less the whole of the Sai San Vingini system. Uh, the website for it is SaiSanGivini.org, and it's got basically all of these things which you can print out yourself. In reality, it is a combination between uh, magic and radionics. Uh, and it's done via a paper-based, intention-based system. Let me just try and explain. Uh, I mean, one thing that really popped into my head when I was doing this is it was like a repetitive administrative task to get all the bloody printouts done and getting everything put into all of these plastic folders so I can keep it safe and put it into a ring folder at some point so I can use it because I actually want to use this system. Was that, yeah, we got a little pretty cat there. Just like, this is a bit of internet pussy time. There we go. There's your traditional bit of your on YouTube. Hey, cat, look at it. Look up, look up. Come on, show me your face. There we go. Never work with children and animals. Okay, like, what, anyway. When I was doing this, it just reminded me of like one of the various different alleged uh, occult or spiritual mentors I had at one time. I mean, one of them was just like, whoops, really keen on mm, getting everything all mucked up there. Uh, bullying me about administration. Another one was really keen on bullying me in a sort of like religious authority kind of a way. Another one kind of like bullied me in another different way because like, you know, it's, you, this is what I was saying to one guy on Facebook recently. Don't ever get a mentor about, you know, religion or spirituality or spiritual healing and all the rest of that. You know, I suppose you could if they were like um, someone who was like, you know, properly a proper higher level authority in one particular thing. Once, maybe, 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 maybe. But even then, you're still coming across someone who's got issues. Uh, it's just like when you're having sexual activity with someone who is like, you know, close to you. And they, they will express their character, their personality and their problems in various different forms of sexual activity. Uh, but then someone else will do it, it in a different way. They express their character. So essentially you're not really picking up wisdom and knowledge. You're just picking up aspects of their character and their personality problems. Internet pussy time. Okay, right. So there isn't really much point in that. So one of the reasons I like the way that they promote this, because they, mm, where does it say it? On top of like some of the sheets here, it says this is a... Oh, I can't find one, just got it written on it. Okay, well, anyway, it says it is a self-learning, uh, prayer-based spiritual healing system. Internet pussy time. Okay, which really, really, you know, is really good. So we've got the various different <clears throat> images for the various diseases, little index section, you can look them up. Uh, let's just try and pick one out at random. This is, this is one of those non-scripted videos I do, as, like, they all are. Okay. There we got burns, cancers, caries, contact, uh, cataract, chicken box, and also something to help with childbirth delivery. This is so that you make up energetic, uh, energetic remedies. You put things on your circle, whether that is a glass of water that you're going to give people drops of every couple of hours, or whether that's like um, sac lac, you know, the sugar pills for homeopathy, put that on there, and you pray. Right, now, why do I use the P word? Well, because it's no different to any other form of occultism. One thing I really, really hate about the occult world in, in, in general is they often say things like, oh yeah, like, orgasm is a great way to receive, reach gnosis, I mean, or, you know, whatever the fuck they're talking about. I mean, basically, when I'm having an orgasm, I'm not necessarily going to be thinking about a, um, a sigil or a religious symbol. I'm, and even if I did, how, how would that positively affect my sexuality if I spent all my time focusing on... Um, there we go. Uh, on, like, you know, a Storm Strange symbol. I mean, it, it, it doesn't... won't do you any good psychologically. So, with this stuff, you've got your, you know, you, you pray into your substance you're about to do. That's aflatoxin anxiety, better memory, bone disorders, Crohn's disease, dandruff, okay? Maybe there's some people out there who need that one, okay? Uh, then you can add that too, as you go further down. There we go, the parts of the body. 
and you can select a part of the body. There's arms and hands, abdomen, there's the back, the blood, the body tissues. Okay, and then once you've done that, you can then multiply it. So you shove it on there and you put more bottles of your liquid or pills on there and you again you can pray into it so you can expand you know you put all your energy into a thing and then you put it to there now the other way it's used i mean this is just like a radionics machine you got an input and you got an output and you got a cute soft fluffy pussycat who's being a demanding little fucker tonight okay 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 yes no okay it's too yes 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 yeah you're the star of the show and you know it okay would be to have a witness sample of a different type there, whether that's a photograph of a person because you're doing remote healing. And again, it's prayer, it's meditation, it's contemplation, or it's your fingernail clippings of someone, or maybe even yourself that you're trying to do, deliver the energy to, and you're sitting there in contemplation and bringing, like, you know, lights down and sending it to the person. And soft, fluffy pussy, soft, fluffy pussy, soft, fluffy pussy. Yes, yes, yes. Right, go. You're immortalized on film now, Mr. I. Hey! Naughty pussy, naughty pussy. <laughs> As I say, never work with children and animals, okay? So, you know, this this whole thing. I mean, like, when people, like, try and communicate how magic or witchcraft or spiritual healing should be done, they're always using the wrong kind of methods, all right? How do I do this? Well, you know, they, they do it the blue piece of way. You know, you take this candle of this color and you put it there and you did it, did it, did it, did No. That's the ritual. How do you actually create the change? What is the spiritual activity that you need to? So, to make it simple, you might as well just say, well, number one, find a spirituality that you're comfortable with. Okay? Just comfortable with. Or a spiritual interpretation you're comfortable with. You know, have a faith-based system you're comfortable with. Remembering, of course, intellectually, that all higher powers of the same guy. Or girl. Or plural. Or whatever. It's just like, you know, explain in different ways. It's just like, you know, we're, basically we are all one. All, all of us are one. Yeah, yeah, even even him, okay? Right, we're, we're, you know, we just, we're all connected, higher power, you know, universal consciousness, we're all connected in some kind of level, all right? So, relax. But people separate each other because of, like, politics and denominations and all the rest of that because we're all hurt beings, we're all wounded healers, we're all, you know, damaged in some form or, or another. But think about it this way, all right? I used to know, like, magicians, and they would, like, go out into the woods, and they would chant and bang drums, and then they would, like, um, make a little thing, you know, out, out of, I don't know, clay or paper, or they would carve a potato, and they put, let's say, like, uh, the photograph of the person they were trying to curse into the potato or the thing made of clay, and they would bury it or burn the piece of paper, and da-da, you know. What is that? Okay. It's a form of radionics done through their own method because the thing which they're adding to their stuff, whether it's um, a bit of extra blood added to a runestone they're carving, all right, or a fingernail clipping or a um, strand of hair or the rest of it, they used to say things like that binds it to the operator. Whereas, like, what a person who is involved with a radionics interpretation would say is that the manifestation which you're trying to cause is connected via the DNA of the witness sample to the person, okay, via non-locality, okay, via spooky action at a distance. Whether that's an image, whether that's another piece of paper which you write their name down and then maybe they're a date of birth or something and you shove that on that bit and you're sending it out to them and you put like their, your gemstones, your crystals, your rune stones and you like meditate and pray and wish and love and all this, breathe the energy into it. It's the same thing. This thing here is the same. It's just, it's a little bit more grown up. Okay? just a little bit more grown up does precisely the same thing this is magic this is witchcraft this is occultism this is spiritualism okay but it's done through a different form of symbol system why is it so unbelievably cool right now the symbols which i've shown you before they are circles and they have little lines drawn in them at various different angles 
okay so this is the one for burns or one of the ones for burns okay and each one of these things okay is a measure because the idea is that a symbol which is created with intention and based upon some form of method of working out something okay can carry that information the symbol itself is like a floppy disk it's like um, a CD-ROM drive it's like a CD it's it contains information the essence of the simulation of the simulation of the cure for the burns or the thing which focuses your attention on burns becomes that symbol and someone used dowsing a long time ago or a little while ago to try and work out that that number those angles and that number of lines within the circle meant burns okay or the treatment for burns or something to focus your energy on the burns and there will be other cards from other systems like Malcolm Ray that would have other things, so maybe you could combine different cards in different ways. Within the San Giovanni system, the idea is that you charge your liquid for 15 seconds on each and every single symbol you want to use. So some is for your burn, some will be for the part of the body, and then that becomes your whole remedy, which you would then drink or swallow, just like one little sip many times throughout the day, or something like that, you know, depending upon what it is you require. Or maybe you take the remedy you've created and you shove it onto your broadcast card and you do it from there to there, you know, that's where you put the thing you just charged and you shove the target on there and you meditate and pray and all the rest of that into it in order to release the energy via remote healing to somebody else or to another group of, um, you know, liquids or whatever that you're trying to imprint with the energy from these things that were encoded a while ago which contain the stuff, okay? Uh, and then right at the back, uh, they have combinations. Okay, so this is the one for teeth and gums. So you put your substance on there for 15 seconds, you meditate and pray into it. For 15 seconds there, meditate and pray into it. 15 seconds for there, meditate and pray into it. Then shove it on there for a whole minute and meditate and pray into it. So you're taking all that information which you have loaded into like your mind, into the, you know, taking it from the symbols, extracting it maybe, and you're delivering it yourself into that place where you then put your glass of water or your little vial of homeopathic pills and you charge you charge with your prayer 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 meditation it's all the same thing delivering the energy and then if you want you then do broadcast and multiplication okay you know it's it, it's all there i mean is it and there's different combinations of stuff to do different stuff with now to get this all like um bound up i simply buy a um, binder to put all these things I've now put together and costs you a fortune in printer ink that's the only real concern about this but you know it, it's all there and these things can be used for other my whole point is that this type of symbol can be used for other things if you're like into the runes if you're into the crystals if you're into the whatever love magic whatever you think that means today okay whether it's cursing your enemy you, it's the same thing whether you want to put a, um, a, the name of a place you want to give a blessing or a curse to it all goes on there and the, the information you're trying to deliver goes there and you meditate and pray into it a paper-based radionic system okay and I can use some of these things with my Spooky 2 Radionics box. And I can use some of these things alone with tranquil, you know, calm meditation. I seriously recommend everyone checks out the Sai Sanvigini. Sanjivini. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it at all. I don't, I don't really know. Okay. And healing fragrances means prayer. Prayer. The mind-altering exercise. Okay, which you and you learn how to do that through faith, through doing a middle pillar exercise, through opening up and visualizing, through doing your chakra work, through using mind machines, through using binormal beat programs, through learning how to open up, learning how to inflame yourself with um, prayer or whatever, you know, just trying to get there, trying to get there bit by bit, learning how to do it. It's a process, it's a process, it's a process. Um, and... The very idea of just like 
trying to have an orgasm and focusing in on a magic spell which you've created or a, you know a thing for your manifestation it, it sounds to me like it's not very a, a very good idea there's another symbol in here which I haven't shown you which I can't find it just of yet because this is a non-scripted video and that's some neutralization cards if you've got some charged water and you want to uncharge it you put it on the neutralization card if you want to remove negativity from someone or something you can shove it on the uh, neutralization card and that's the symbol for removal uh, you, indeed you could use that to purify the thing prior to doing um, all the other things with it Maybe I'm making sense today, maybe I'm not, I have no idea. But I printed out more or less the whole thing, okay? The Sai San Vingini website, which I want you to Google for. I want you to Google for it. If you're, if you're following this channel, you're a strange person, okay? This is strange stuff for strange people. You are strange, find the website, okay? Uh, Sai Sangivini dot org, okay, and you can do this yourself. You can spend a fortune on printer ink, okay, and stationery, and you can get yourself your entire system of spiritual healing, radionics, homeopathy magic, witchcraft, and everything. You get your entire set, set of symbols for nearly every major complaint. You get instructions from the website as to the right attitude to take to it. Go for it. 